Hi there YouTube, this is Apple Stuffs here, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about the iTunes Music Library. So, to start, we're going to open up the open up our iTunes, and this is what should pop up, or it might be this. Okay, all of these things on the side over here seem very confusing to a starter. Very confusing. And my goal is to make all of them very easy for you. So, here we are in our library, under our music, and I like the Grateful Dead, very old band. Um, so I put it in album just to show you as an example. So, um, before we go into what this actually is as an explanation, let's look at this top bar up here. Up here we have our play button, our fast forward button, our rewind button, only if you are playing something. So we'll play... If I want to pause it, then I hit pause. If I want to go back to the beginning, I do that. If I want to go back a song, see how this changed? That went up one. Then I just hit back again. If I want to go forward, fast forward, I can do that up here. Yeah, so that's that. This is the volume button function. This uh, can turn on really high your volume, or it can turn off your volume, depending on how you drag it. Very simple. And over here are the different functions for viewing. So this is a list view. I like this better because it looks more organized to me because I have my music very organized, even though this is only a small sample of it. And this version does it by album. This is up here are all the different views. And this does it by album, um, album by artist. So if you have a certain album and a certain artist, it combines them and it puts this little artwork here. I don't have any artwork because I own this album and there were no pictures with it because um, I own it from home, and this is uh, another form of viewing it, uh, viewing all of the albums that you have, so if you have 15 albums, they would be spread out across here, and this is, um, this views the album artwork, uh, all of these are by album, this views the album artwork up here, and if you had 15 albums, you could be, you could scroll down and click on one, and it would show, um, click on each album, and it would show the different album artwork here. Okay, so let's get down into the very basics. So I'm going to click this view because it looks a lot simpler. So what are these? What is this? These are songs. Clearly they're songs. I'm sure that you knew that. That's why you have iTunes. Um, now, did I buy these songs on iTunes, or did I download them illegally? No, I did not download them illegally. I actually own a copy of this CD, and I put it in my CD opti optical drive, which I'll be showing you how to do this eventually. And I clicked and dragged the songs and put them in my music library. The music library is used to to maintain all of your songs in sort of a holding position or sort of in a way that you can hold them on your computer so that you can play them whenever you want to. Um, I have these songs on here because I'm planning on dragging them and putting them on my iPod, which eventually I'll show you. That'll be in a long time from now. <laughs> And, um, so yeah, that, that's the basics of this. You can, uh, organize this by the name of the song. You can organize it by, that's in alphabetical order now. Uh, B is up here, as you can see. W is down here. You can do it by the time of it. I don't really know why you'd use that, but you could, I guess. This is the artist. Um, there are, it's all Grateful Dead, so that won't change. You can do it by album. Like I said, if you had 15 albums, different things will show up. You can do it by the genre. This is... I mean, it's really classic rock, but they can classify it as country folk. I, that's okay. Um, and then you can also rate each song. And then on your iPod, you can play each rating. If you want to play a two-star rating, a five-star rating. And this is the number of plays over here. So if I were to play it 50, this song ten times on my iPod, there would be ten plays over here. That, in a nutshell, is everything about the iTunes Music Library. It's a holding place for all of your songs so that you can move them into, or onto, I should say, your iPod. Thank you for watching this YouTube tutorial. This is Apple Stuffs here, signing out. Bye-bye.